Hey everybody, hope you're well. This is Daryl Carter for gg.co.uk and today we're going to take a quick look at the Doncaster Lincoln on Saturday. It's the opening day of the flat season. 22 runners in the one mile Lincoln handicap on soft ground. Could it be any easier to find a winner? Uh, I doubt it very, very much. This is a very tricky race. These big handicaps I always tend to look back through the years of the previous winners, try and find some trends uh, and see if they relate to any of the horses running in the big field just to whittle that field down a little tiny bit to help myself and uh, there's a couple of interesting things to note about this particular race every winner since 2014 has been rated 100 or more other than Adi Ebb who was rated 99 and we know what that horse went on to do so that's very interesting a lot of people tend to steer clear of those towards the top of the weights actually pays to follow them in this particular contest and unless they prepped at Maidan every single winner came here fresh in the last 10 years. So a couple of interesting things to note that might whittle the field down a little bit. No prep runs at Lingfield or Wolverhampton. Coming here fresh, off uh, towards the top of the weights. Um, that's where I kind of want to be looking at for my main play in the contest. I do want to steer clear of the two at the top of the market, Awol and Al Mubir. I just think there's no juice in the price at all. They're both young, progressive horses with good futures ahead of them. But for me, I need something with a bit of juice in the price. Uh, and the horse I actually like is Atrium for Charlie Fellows. This horse really progressed throughout the season last term. Um, it ended up with a good course and distance victory on soft ground here back in September. We haven't seen him since. He's been off 202 days. But I'm sure that they would have prepped him and had him cherry rope for this contest here. There's loads more to come from this horse. I loved his race-by-race -race progression last year. He just really got to learn how to race and just ended the season on a real high. Hopefully he can pick up where he left off. He's drawn in stall 13 under Kieran Schumach. I think that's a positive because they do tend to split into two groups uh, in these big field handicaps with Doncaster. He will have the opportunity to shoot, pick and choose where he goes. He'll be able to walk the course beforehand, see where the better ground is, and he will also be able to latch on to the pace from the rear of the field. He's going to need a little bit of luck in running, but I think Atrium around 12 to 1 is a fair enough bet. There's cases you can make for a lot of these in here. I wouldn't put you off too many, to be honest. One ease in drawn, drawn installed 22. The hood goes back on for him. He won in the hood last year. There's been lots of social media posts about how well this horse has been working um, during the off-season. Jim Crowley's on board, which is always a positive uh, in these colours. Uh, he, he should definitely go well. Munta Sib, there must be a big pot in this horse. He's just never quite... Follow through of it when you wanted him to. He has cost me an absolute fortune. Tongue tie first time for the William Haggis runner there. Drawn and still 21. Jimi Hendrix is interesting. But I'm not too sure how much more he has got to give in all honesty. Uh, another horse I do like in here. I will be having a couple of quid on. Is Drawn and still 12. Right next door to Atrium actually. And that's Migration. Another hold up horse. But I do think that this horse has a big, big pot in him. Um, I'd forgive the run at Newmarket at the back end of last season. It just wasn't him. He stopped far too quickly. Prior to that in the Balmoral, he was drawn out and stalled 22. They converged with all the low numbers, so he had to come right across the track. He ended up on the far rail on the opposite side of the course, basically. Uh, got no run and just was sort of came home in his own time. I think he'll love the ground. I don't think he wants quick summer ground. He's got a great record early spring into the summer. And I think there's more to come from him. I know he's off 107. Benoit de la Say it claims three off. I think that will help. But Benoit's a fantastic rider. He gave Hakiki a great ride in this two years ago uh, to, to win the race. And it's very, very interesting that David Menuzier has booked Benoit de la Say it for the ride. So I think Migration's going to have a big, big chance. I'll just give a positive mention to one more so I can tip nearly every horse in the race and hopefully get a winner. No, that's Safe Voyage, the class act off the field the former class act group horse he's a 10 year old now not too many days left in him i wouldn't have thought so he will be primed for this um as will most of these to be quite honest but he's got a fantastic record off the back of a break he's been off 168 days he dropped into handicap company last season and he was catching the eye looking like he had a bigger performance in him i'm keeping him on side for the first part of the season because i do think he is ready to straight he's fairly handicapped um, but again, he's another hold-up horse. So hopefully there's plenty of pace on in the contest. Hopefully those few stats and uh, a couple of words have helped you single out a few runners that you like. But Atrium and Migration would be the two main plays with a saver on safe voyage for me. Best of luck wherever you're betting on Saturday, and I'll speak to you soon.